Hello guys and welcome to episode 12 in my Godot C Sharp how to series. Today you're going to learn how to make a wall crawler that will follow along the edges of a tile map. And it's going to look like this. As you can see these guys are following the walls and they're turning nicely here in the corners as well. Alright, so let's get started. As usual, you will find the code on my GitHub page. The link is in the description. I have prepared in advance, so we got a tile map here. And this guy is set up to actually draw with auto tiles here. So we can grab this guy here. And then a slope like this. You see they will merge together. And we can have this guy as well here. Pull this guy out a bit like so. Same for the other side. And finally, we just add some stuff in between here. Okay, so if you want to learn how to do this, I have a tutorial for this on YouTube called Godot Auto Tiling with Slopes. So you can go and check this guy out and you will learn how to do this. So this covers 22.5 and 45 degree slopes with automatic merging between auto tile sets. All right, so we can now undo some things here. So let's start by creating the crawler. So click on Scene, New Scene, click on 2D Scene. Rename this guy to wall crawler. Right click the node, click on add shell node, find the sprite, and click on create. Right click the wall crawler node, click on change type, and find the kinematic body 2D down there, and click on change. And this guy needs a collision shape, so let's right click, click on add shell node, find the collision shape in here, the 2D guy, and click on create. And we're gonna give this guy a circle shape 2D. And it's going to be tiny up here. Next, we're going to click on Scene, Save Scene. And we're going to save this in the Scenes folder. So click on Create Folder and call this Wall Crawler. Click on OK and click on Save. Next, right click the Wall Crawler folder, click on New Folder and type in GFX and click on OK. You will find the graphics on my GitHub page if you want to follow along. So I'm going to right click in here, Open in File Manager copy in the file right here like so and click on close and I'm going to drag in the crawler.png to the sprite as a texture and for the collision shape 2d we're going to click on transform and set this to be scale 3 by 3 and save the scene here then right click the wall crawler and click on attach script and save this as wall crawler.cs and click on create and for starters up here we're going to add a couple of variables and then we're going to update the process method down here. It's going to uncomment this guy here. And we're going to start with the move and collide method. And we're going to move forward with the velocity, multiply with the speed, multiply with the delta. And then we're going to check here if the collision is not equal to null. We are first going to set the velocity forward direction to point along the direction of the wall, which means it's going to be the forward vector for the crawler. And we set the velocity to the collision normal rotated with moth.py divided by 2, which is 90 degrees. And then we're going to set rotated equals the velocity angle here. This is later going to be the target rotation, but I will go through this step by step with you guys. And then finally, we're going to get the snap vector here, which is going to be the collision normal rotated with moth.py. So this is 180 degrees. So this vector is going to point towards the wall at all times, no matter the rotation. Okay. So if we run this guy now, nothing's going to happen because we're just moving to the right. Click here on world, right click the world, click on instant shell scene and find the wall crawler and click on open. And we can place this guy inside first. Somewhere like there. And if we click on play, he's following the walls now, but he's not rotating so much. Okay. So next we have to check here else if the collision is null, that means that he is not colliding with anything. Then we want to check if he is not on floor. Then we're going to set the velocity plus equals the snap vector dot normalized. So we're going to turn this to a length of one. And we're going to pull this guy towards the wall. So if you run this guy now and click on play here in the editor. You can see that we are following the walls, but we are not rotating. Okay, so let's close this guy down. And we have the arrow right here. 
it should be rotation and not rotation degrees. So if you go back now and click on play, he's actually going to rotate now, but he's going to snap, you know, on the sides here. So he's having some hiccups. So if we click on the wall crawler, scale this guy down a bit as well to be 0 0.5, like so. I'm going to make sure that he's placed down on the wall as well, that he's colliding. Okay, so back to the code. So what do we do to make him rotate? First of all, we're going to break this stuff out into its own method. But before that, we're going to add a target rotation angle. So up here at the top, we are going to add the target rotation angle. And for things to work properly in the rhythm method, we have to say that the target rotation angle is going to be equal to the initial velocity dot angle here. So strange things won't happen. All right. So we can create a new method up here. Private void, set velocity, snap and rotation. And inside this guy, we're going to grab all of these things here and paste them in here instead. Instead of having the rotation here, we are going to set the target rotation angle instead, like so. And for this to work properly, we also need another method. And it's going to be rotate towards target vector. And we're going to add another variable as well called turn speed for this guy. So we can place him under the speed and it's going to be exported as well. So we can set this in the editor. So this is going to be the turn speed for our faster crawler turns in the corners. All right. So what we do here is that we're going to lerp the angle from the current rotation to the target rotation angle that we have specified right here and we're going to lerp this with a turn speed multiplied by the delta here all right so we're going to plug this guy in here set velocity snap and rotation inside of the collision instead and we're going to pass in the collision like so and underneath here after the collision we're going to add the following line where we will call the rotate towards target vector with the delta back to the editor and click play and right now you can see that everything is looking awesome. He's uh, moving around the corners and everything. However, this is only for the right direction. So we want to make sure that this guy can walk in the left direction as well. Let's close this guy down and bring the code back up. So for this, we're going to add another variable up here. And this is going to be a property hint, which will create a drop down for us in the inspector. So we can choose if you're going to go right or if you're going to go left. And we have the crawl direction here set to zero, which is going to be the first value in the enum, which is right. And one is going to be left. So underneath the red method, we're going to add this guy here called init crawler direction. We're checking here if the crawler direction is set to right. If so, we're just going to set the velocity start vector to be right. And the same thing here for the left direction. And we need to initialize this guy inside of the red method. Plug him in right there. And now we need to update the set velocity snap and rotation method. So I'm going to do it like this and just replace this guy. So in here, we first check if we are moving to the right. Then we're going to run the exact same lines we had there before, the first two. And if the crawler is moving to the left, we're just going to add a minus here in front of the collision instead. And for the angle right here, we're going to add math.pi, which means that we're going to rotate the sprite 180 degrees. Otherwise, he's going to be walking on his head, but we want him to walk on his feet. Okay. And finally, we set the snap vector here. And we can update some comments and stuff in here as well. Like so. And let's go back to the editor. To the crawler here. And we need to click on build. And once we have clicked on build, we can choose which direction we want to walk in. So let's click on left. Save this guy and can click on play. Now left is going to be the, the default direction. And now he's going to crawl to the left. Okay, and finally, let's add some more of these guys in to the world. So right click, instant shout scene for a few of these guys. We can duplicate these guys with control D. The second guy is going to walk to the right and the fourth one is going to go to the right as well. Now they're all placed in the corner, so let's use the move tool. One guy down here, another guy can be walking up there perhaps. And number two can be running inside here as well. All right, let's make sure they are touching the ground as well. So 
something like that. And let's click on play. And here you have the guys crawling around on the map. And this will work for any tile set, as long as you set up the collision rectangles correctly in the tile map. And there's one final thing we need to do on the wall crawler. We need to set the collision shape and remove the mask. Otherwise they can collide with each other. And we click on play. And they are no longer going to collide with each other now. And there you have it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. So please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See you in the next video. And bye for now.